go to practice and practice those steps. And people will be looking at me funny, but I don't really care because I try to figure out what I can bring to Bay Street in the morning. If you learn nothing else, it's pretty easy to see that. One family is to go to train right now. One family can be the dominant and yes, the come and the show him. They can be the group. Young girls are very dynamic. They're very powerful. Nobody touches them. Nobody touches them. Lighthouse on San Salvador to let you know that marine protected areas make dollars and cents. A well-designed and managed network of protected areas can generate income for nearby communities. From MPA managers to lodges to eco tours, there is money to be made. Healthy marine ecosystems help to protect our islands from climate change and other impacts that we cannot control. Healthy coral reefs help to break down big waves and mangroves absorb storm surge and help to protect our coastline. Older and larger fish tend to carry more and healthier eggs than younger fish. Fish replenishment areas will allow fish to grow bigger and ensure that we have more fish now and in the future. In our replenishment area, fish are free to grow and reproduce. As their populations increase, more fish will spill over into other areas where fishermen can increase their catch and their income. I support the establishment of a marine protected area on my island. I support the establishment of marine protected areas on my island. I support the establishment of marine protected areas on my island. I support the establishment of a marine protected area on my island, and you should too. And you should too. And you should too. And you should too. See the, See the future, future with, with Bahamas Protected. You're watching the ZNS Network, the People's Station. Coming up in the news, health officials confirming the Omicron variant is on Grand's Bahama. Also, the Ministry of Health and Wellness introducing new contact tracing protocols for COVID-19 cases. And a man charged in connection with the island's latest murder. The Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, starts now. This is the Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. This is the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Good evening all, I'm Jamila Misik. Thank you so much for tuning in. Topping news tonight, health officials confirming today that the latest strain of COVID-19, Omicron, is in Grants, Bahama. The acting clinical director for Community Health Services says they have tested several samples and received positive results. From Eagle Knowles reports. The newest variant of COVID-19, Omicron, which was first reported on November 24, 2021, is in Grand Bahama. And Acting Clinical Director for Community Health Services at the Grand Bahama Health Services, Dr. Stacey Bevins-Lang, says the Omicron variant has proven to be highly contagious. We have to remind everyone, too, that, yes, we have Omicron, but we also have Delta still around. And as we know, Delta was a rather um, dangerous strain. It would have placed a numerous persons in the hospital. So that is why we are asking pe persons to please be vigilant. Dr. Bevins Lang says Omicron is affecting all ages. The persons who are more at risk are our 
kids, pediatric patients, our elderly, and our immunocompromised persons, persons that have cancer, who are on chemo, um, diabetics, hypertensives, who are not controlled, asthmatics, those uh, HIV, those persons. She explains the symptoms health officials have been experiencing in pediatric cases. The kids tend to present with vomiting, diarrhea, maybe simple flu-like symptoms. Most cases, these symptoms are only lasting maybe two, three days, four days maximum. Um, it's so mild in some cases that most parents don't even uh, think much of it. However, there are persons who would have had their kids tested and most of which have come back positive and this is with the rapid testing. And now that preschools have resumed classes, she is admonishing parents to be mindful, especially if your child is presenting the following symptoms. If you notice that your child has runny nose, not vomiting, diarrhea, um, sneezing, coughing, uh, please keep them at home. Preschools in most cases would have resumed classes as early as today. Uh, we are asking that if your child has any symptoms, please don't send them to school because we, kids are not wearing the mask like they're supposed to and therefore the whole school can be infected within a matter of days. Thankfully, she says, the symptoms in children are mild and will subside on their own, but she adds that it can also be treated. What we ask the parents to do is if the child has a fever, they t give them Panadol. Uh, or the pa paracetamol. Now you can also contact one of your local clinics or your private physician and they will tell you exactly how much to give. Uh, for persons who have a cough, for those kids that have a cough, we do not recommend cough medication. So please don't go and just start giving your child cough medication. The cough will subside on its own. Now, if you notice the cough is going for numerous days and it's getting worse, not resolving, contact your physician. In addition, she adds that it is important to keep children hydrated with water or Pedialyte. Ramiko Knowles, ZNS Network News. Meanwhile, as the Bahamas continues its fight against the COVID-19 pandemic, the Ministry of Health and Wellness introducing new contact tracing protocols for COVID-19 cases due to the, the increasing number rather, of positive cases of COVID-19 reported over the past several days. Effective January 1st, the surveillance unit will contact individuals via SMS messaging, notifying them that their results have been reported to the Ministry of Health and Wellness. The message will contain instructions to follow while in quarantine and a link to a form where additional information will be collected, including the contact information of persons who may have been exposed to the positive person over the past two days before testing. A second message will be sent to provide telephone numbers to contact for further information and to answer any questions. Meanwhile, 477 new COVID-19 cases recorded on the dashboard for January 2nd. The new data reflects 410 cases in New Providence, 14 in Grands Bahama, 12 in Abaco, 1 in Bimini and Cat Key, 6 in Eleuthera, 3 in Exuma, 1 in Inagua, 1 in Andros and 29 locations pending. 30 of the new cases are persons who have a recent history of travel. There are currently 3,203 active cases. 43 persons are hospitalized, three of them in intensive care. The death toll remains at 717. In other news, the Ram Memorial Hospital is reporting a significant increase in the number of persons presenting to the emergency department with flu-like symptoms. Given the current status of health care in the country, officials are admonishing persons to utilize the surveillance units and community clinics. Ramiko Knowles has more. Headache, fever. Body aches and sore throat are all symptoms of the coronavirus and also the seasonal flu. Anytime anyone um, are faced with these symptoms, the first thing that comes to their mind is, is um, 
whether or not uh, they have COVID. Medical Chief of Staff at the Rand Memorial Hospital, Dr. Freeman Lockhart, says that persons experiencing those symptoms are arriving at the hospital in numbers that far exceed the hospital's capacity. So we are asking persons that to pretty much come to the hospital if you have um, shortness of breath. Shortness of breath is the is the um, symptoms or that we are very, very concerned, that we are most concerned about. And that should pretty much land you in hospital or if you have a, an extremely high temperature that, you know, that doesn't go away. He says that persons experiencing general flu-like symptoms should contact the community surveillance unit. You can call the surveillance team and you can get some advice from the surveillance team. You can even have, um, go and get a, go and get a um, tested from one of the facilities uh, in the community if you're concerned. He notes that it will alleviate the strain on the health care system. Keep in mind, even though we have COVID, there are non-COVID patients still coming in. Patients are still coming in who are having um, acute chest syndrome, that is um, chest pain, um, difficulty breathing for non-COVID related reasons um, that need to be seen. You're still seeing stroke patients and these patients um, absolutely have to be seen. Now, in addition to the surveillance unit, he says persons can also see physicians at the community clinics. Uh, there's a clinic right, right here in the building we are in that's here all during the day, uh, Hawksville Clinic, all of the other peripheral clinics in their community. They can go to those um, and see the physicians at those clinic and they can be equally dealt with and advised and and basically um, um, their, uh, you know, their condition can be established. So clearly the messaging here is that you want to basically come to the emergency room for true emergencies. Now health officials maintain that vaccination is still the best method to fight against the different variants of COVID-19 in addition to following the safety protocols such as wearing of masks proper social distancing, and frequently washing your hands. Ramiko Knowles, ZNS Network News. Now for persons experiencing flu-like symptoms, you can contact the Grand Bahama Health Services Surveillance Unit at 807-6634. In other news, at the beginning of a new year, many people set out to make resolutions in hopes of improving the quality of their lives. Tonight, Sabrina Brown talks with a life coach about how best to follow through on achieving your goals. Corporate trainer and life coach Deborah Pratt says, at the beginning of a new year, whether or not you make New Year's resolutions, we should all set goals. In order to be able to achieve those goals, it definitely depends on our mindset. We have to determine within ourselves, we have to be intentional about wanting to achieve those goals. So when we talk about mindset and renewing your mind, that is so important because as the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So we need to learn to think positively, have a positive attitude, change our minds instead of thinking, well, I don't think I can do that, I cannot do that. We need to learn how to renew our minds. Pratt is also cautioning persons to be careful of the things they spend time focusing on. There's a computer term. Gigo, G I G O, garbage in, garbage out. Implying that the information, that data that is put into the computer, if you put garbage into the computer, that is what you expect to come out. So in renewing our minds, we have to make sure that we don't allow so much garbage to get into our minds as well. Garbage gets into our minds by the things that we may read, the things that we listen to, the things that we hear on a daily basis. Sometimes if we are honest with ourselves, we would realize that the people that we hang out with, they are persons that really drain us. Some people are really draining. They are just complaining all the time and never trying to do anything better or make anything better. They are always complaining. She has this advice on ways you can renew your mind as you chart a new course for the year ahead. We have to ensure that we 
we read a lot, you know, you want to make sure that you take in a lot of positivity, whether you read the Bible, whether you read those motivational books. You want to ensure that you listen to a lot of positive things. If you were driving in your car and you just want to put on some inspirational message or something, we have to make sure that we we have to be intentional about wanting to improve our lives and therefore we must improve our minds that ensure, by ensuring that only positive things go in. And we all need it because even myself, even as a motivational speaker, as a trainer and loving to empower others, I too need that daily reminder as well. I need motivation as well. I need encouragement. So I would always try and listen to something positive as well, just to keep me going. So all of us need it. Sabrina Brown, ZNS Network News. The Ministry of Social Services and Urban Development issuing a statement on terminated urban renewal employees. The government has now settled with all 65 former employees of urban development in Grands Bahama and the Family Islands who were unceremoniously terminated after the May 10, 2017 general election. The release continues that in letters of termination, the employees were promised the requisite allowances. These allowances were never paid and the matter was subsequently taken to arbitration at the Labor Tribunal. In consideration of all the circumstances and upon recommendations, the government through the Ministry of Social Services and Urban Development settled the outstanding issue on December 31st, 2021. Stay with us, there is more news right after this break. that criminals are looking for a safe target. We would like to assist you in not becoming a victim of car theft. Do not leave your keys in the ignition of your vehicle unattended. Please ensure that your vehicle is properly locked and secured. In addition, do not park your vehicle in a poorly littered area. This message is brought to you by the Royal Bahamas Police Force, creating safer communities. So put me together, break me apart again. No doubt about the King of the North is back. Power 104.5 FM. It's the best time of the year. The holidays are always a beautiful time with family and friends, and this Christmas ought to be no different, especially since we know that vaccinations prevent most people from getting serious complications from COVID-19 or even dying. Vaccinations also allow us to protect ourselves and the most vulnerable like the elderly or persons battling comorbidities like cancer, HIV, AIDS, and chronic illnesses like diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, and kidney disease. This Christmas, let's get back to the things we miss, like being able to visit family and friends, parties and indoor dining at our favorite restaurants, and gatherings to celebrate the new year to come. We can have these moments again by taking the simple step of getting vaccinated and abiding by the safety protocols of wearing masks, hand washing, and social distancing. Say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet. 
persons wishing to be vaccinated should visit the website vax.gov.bs. The Ministry of Health and Wellness also encourages persons to pay attention to announcements on when a pop-up vaccination center will be hosted near you. This message is brought to you by the Public Hospitals Authority. The Public Hospitals Authority, working together for best quality health care. The King of the North is back. Howard 104.5 FM. Your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. In news from the crime beat, police issuing a wanted bulletin for 25-year-old Andreo Smith, also known as Andreo Taylor. He is wanted for housebreaking and stealing. His last known address is number 4 Gambier Drive. He is described as standing 5 foot 11 inches tall, weighs 180 pounds with brown complexion, medium build, dark brown eyes. Now once again, Andreo Smith, also known as Andreo Taylor, is wanted for housebreaking and stealing. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you are asked to contact the Lucayan Police Station at 373-1112. In other news, 21-year-old Shamar Moss of number 157 Weddell Avenue appeared before Deputy Chief Magistrate Debbie Ferguson in Freeport Magistrate Court on the charge of murder. He was not required to enter a plea and bail was denied. He was remanded to the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services until March 3rd of this year for a voluntary bill of indictment. This charge is in connection with the murder that occurred on Christmas Day. Meanwhile, 28-year-old Shakirio Jones of Bayshore Road West End also appeared before Deputy Chief Magistrate Debbie Ferguson in the Freeport Magistrate's Court on three counts of attempted murder. He was not required to enter a plea and bail was denied. He was remanded to the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services until April 4th this year for a voluntary bill of indictment. The charges are in connection with the shooting incident that occurred in West End on Christmas Day. Also from the courts, 36-year-old Tamara Camp of number 67 Malibu Reef was arraigned before Magistrate Charlton Smith in the Freeport Magistrate Court on five counts of possession of forged document this morning. She pleaded not guilty and was granted bail in the amount of $4,000 with one shorter. She was also ordered to sign in at Central Police Station before 6 p.m. every Monday. The matter was adjourned to the 14th of March. And over on the island of Abaco, three males and three females were arrested for possession of dangerous drugs and cultivation of dangerous drugs. Reports say on Monday, the 3rd of January, a team of officers from the Drug Enforcement Unit, along with other international agencies acting on intelligence, executed search warrants on several homes in Marsh Harbor, Abaco. While searching a residence situated on Curly Tail Way, Central Pines, the officers discovered a quantity of suspected marijuana, along with several suspected marijuana plants inside a bedroom closet. As a result, three males and three females were taken into custody and are assisting police with the investigation. In other news, Grand Bahamas Premier Seniors Home is still in need of help tonight. Tonight, the founder is making another appeal. Sabrina Brown has details. The Grand Bahama Home for the Aged has been in operation for the past 32 years. Founder and Administrator Agatha Thompson says the facility is still under renovation post-Dorian. And while she is grateful for the support of the local community, she says more help is needed. We had to gut the entire building due to damages from the hurricanes. And um, we had some great assistance. We'd like to thank the Grand Bahama community, all of those who have assisted thus far. And we also would like to encourage them to not to be putting God first as we enter into the new year. My family and 
the Grand Bahama community, those of you who have assisted us, don't leave us. We need you to continue this journey of God's work. Y'all are God's hands and feet and eyes and pockets to keep this work going. As we are now entering the coldest period of the year, Thompson is concerned about the comfort of the elderly residents as they remain in the preschool area pending completion of the work being done to the main building. January and February are the coldest months, so we're trying to get them. The preschools designed for infants and toddlers only come during the day, so it's not comfortable for long-term care. So we're trying to get them back up front, and we still need like kitchen cabinets, the bathroom fixtures, um, tiles in order to complete and we still need a whole lot of money because those materials still have to be paid for we need interior doors and um, the list goes on and we're inviting the Grand Bahama community to come out come down don't just donate come and see our work come and see where your money is going she says the seniors home continues to face major challenges building material uh, for repairs that's the biggest challenge now since all of the recent hurricanes but our challenges throughout the years have been the financing, the power, the, the power, the water, the maintenance mainly, and salaries, mortgages. Our biggest challenge really was having that mortgage with the Bank of the Bahamas, who with, uh, you know, we had insurances, but um, we weren't able to use it because we were the Involved with the mortgages, operating a nonprofit organization. You sometimes have to take from Peter to pay Paul. You sometimes have to juggle because the funds are just not there, you know, and we don't want to turn people away. We do get assistance from the government. We have an annual grant. We also get donations. Owner of Third Dimension, Fred Black, has answered Thompson's call for help. I have been uh, instrumental in doing the work here. Uh, material putting giving her advance on material sometime i have to pay the pay the workers them here so if the community can assist miss thompson i think that would be a great help to the community and take a little burden off the old fellow <laughs> sabrina brown zns network news and now it is time for a check on sports with jay philippe Good evening, I'm Jay Philippe and welcome to Sports. It was a busy weekend in sports to start the new year with the NFL Week 17. Also, Buddy Hill and the Sacramento Kings. Let's start this one with the hometown boy. In the NBA, sharpshooter Buddy Hill had perhaps one of his best games of the season, landing seven triples on Sunday. He'll finish Sunday's 115-113 win over the Miami Heat with 26 points, 9 of 18 from the field, 7 of 14 from the three-point line, and 1 of 4 from the free throw. He also had six rebounds and three assists across 33 minutes. He broke out of a slump in the win, drilling a season-high seven triples en route to a team high 26 points. It's been a wildly inconsistent season thus far for Hill, with his playing time a lot completely relying on a shooting stroke. Up next, Buddy Hill and the Sacramento Kings will travel to LA to take on LeBron James and the streaking LA Lakers. Sticking with hoops action on the European scene, Kenton Smith, the former St. George's Jaguar and current national team member, is having a pretty productive year in France, playing for his Garon Avenger team in the French NM2 League. The 6'8 forward provided this recent update. The season's going pretty good for my team. We're currently in second place in our division. And for me personally, the year started kind of slow, but I've had 20-point double-doubles for the last three games and bringing my averages up to about 16 points and nine rebounds a game. So hopefully I can get it to a double-double and keep uh, going on the pace that I'm going on now. We look forward to getting to that first place position and moving up into a higher division next year. And finally in sports, week 17 of the NFL season was an interesting one with many playoff implications on the line. The Green Bay Packers demolished the Minnesota Vikings 37-10 to wrap up the number one seed in the NFC. Rookie Trey Lance threw two touchdown passes in the second half of his second career start and the 49ers closed in on the playoffs with a 23-7 victory over the Houston Texans. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills pulled away with a 20 9-15 win over Atlanta, which eliminated the Falcons from contention on Sunday. 
And the 10 and 6 Bengals are finally back in the postseason after Cincinnati's dramatic 34 31 win over Kansas City to clinch the AFC North title. The Arizona Cardinals were able to hold off the Dallas Cowboys 25-22 in a matchup of playoff teams. And the Tennessee Titans are dancing as back-to-back -back AFC South champs, clinching their second straight division title Sunday, snapping the Miami Dolphins' seven-game winning streak with a 34-3 win. And that's a quick check on sports. I'm Jay Philippe. Be blessed. Third Dimension on Yellow Pine Street introduces its new home improvement center. Step into our brand new fully stocked showroom for the latest in doors, tiles, housewares, kitchenwares, bathwares, vanities, power tools, electrical and plumbing supplies. So stop by our showroom to view our full range of products or call the Home Advisor hotline at 602-0935 today. We are your home advisors. should be everyone's business. Therefore, we want to remind you not to leave your bags or valuables visibly seen on the seat of your vehicle unattended. This negligent practice will create an opportunity for a criminal to commit a crime. Please desist from such practices. This message is brought to you by the Royal Bahamas Police Force, creating safer communities. The Ministry of Health is working to ensure the safety of the Bahamian people. Help us minimize the risk that coronavirus poses to citizens, residents, and visitors by following these five easy steps. Step one, wet your hands with clean water, apply soap and lather for 20 seconds by rubbing them together. Include the top of your hands between your fingers and under your fingernails. Rinse your hands under clean water, then dry them with a paper towel or air dry them. Remember to wash your hands before and after, eating, preparing a meal, changing a diaper, or caring for the sick, and always after using the bathroom, touching money, shaking hands, or taking out the trash. Step two, cough and sneeze in your elbow or upper sleeve, not in your hands, not in the air. Or you can cover your nose and mouth with a tissue when you cough or sneeze. Put your used tissue in the trash bin when you're finished. Remember to wash your hands with soap and clean water after you cough or sneeze. Also, remember never to spit on the ground, roads, or in open spaces. Step three, ensure that raw meat your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Janice Burke said you are our Facebook friends of the day. We appreciate your support. And that's going to do it for us here in the North. On behalf of the entire ZNS News team, I'm Jamila Mizek. Thank you so much for joining us. The Bahamas Tonight continues. Coming up in the Bahamas tonight, the National Report. Healthcare workers impacted in this latest COVID surge once again. Consumers should expect some savings with VAT now reduced to 10%. The Minister of Youth Sports and Culture defending the virtual Junkanoo Parade. And Buddy discusses his big night. The Bahamas tonight, the National Report starts now. This portion of the news is brought to you by BTC's Superfast Extreme Internet Bundle. Make Christmas sparkle. Sign up today. Good evening, I'm Jiminy Swain. Welcome to the Bahamas tonight, the National Report. Thanks so much for tuning in. Topping news, a surge in COVID-19 cases in the country is impacting the healthcare system with scores of healthcare workers not currently on the job. This as new COVID-19 infections more than twice in the last week shattered the Christmas Day record of 330 cases in one day. Cleopatra Murphy leads us off tonight. 
At least 130 healthcare workers are now out of the system due to COVID-19. At least 100 on New Providence and approximately 30 on Grand Bahama. Minister of Health and Wellness, the Honorable Dr. Michael Darville, acknowledged the shortage in staff is causing some strain at the Princess Margaret Hospital while denying that patients in the accident and emergency department do not have access to care as a result. We do admit that some of our staff is out as a result of exposure to COVID, whether it's isolation or quarantine, but we are able to provide the essential services. At our legacy unit, uh, we have uh, admissions and we're opening up more of the tents, but I must admit that due to the exposure of some of our staff members, some of the essential services had to be cut back. And even though we have sufficient bed space, we are now restructuring to ensure that we find a staff where individuals who will be admitted will be able to go in those particular wards. This comes as the country experiences a continued surge in COVID-19 cases, reporting 1,535 cases between Thursday and Sunday. Thursday saw 520 confirmed cases, 289 on Friday, 249 on Saturday, and 477 on Sunday. Following the New Year's Day holiday weekend, the Minister of Health says officials are concerned about a sustained surge following a number of events that can be seen as super spreaders. We're watching the amount of cases and uh, we have been doing an excessive amount of testing. Uh, what is concerning us is the percentage of testing is proving to be higher than we anticipate, which is an indication that the disease burden is relatively high in the country. And we are now preparing ourselves uh, to ensure that we have adequate uh, health care protocols in place so that if there is a surge that possibly could take place with hospital admissions, we are in a better position to deal with it. COVID-19 hospitalizations are once again on the rise, with Dr. Darville sharing 55 patients are in hospital with the virus. Up to 55, it's difficult to differentiate those who may be COVID positive with symptoms from COVID or whether or not they are COVID positive with other complications in hospital. It's a cross section and we're trying to get the exact number. Darville also defended against criticism that government is not doing enough to contain the virus's spread. He insists government is doing all it can, but the Omicron variant is challenging countries globally. It's very important that the Bahamian people realize that they have a part to play. We must execute the proper protocols and ensure that we wear our masks when we're in public places and we are able to go from place to place minimizing our contact with individuals. It is a challenge. Uh, we will definitely Definitely be untrue to say it's not a challenge and what we are experiencing every country around the globe is experiencing these amount of cases because the, the virus is so transmissible uh, and very infectious and as a result of public gatherings in private places everyone is susceptible even where we are right now in close proximity we are susceptible even with utilizing the proper protocols Cleopatra Murphy said S network news the MSC Seashore was denied access to MSC's private island in the Bahamas at Ocean Key, which is just off Bimini on Thursday following a COVID-19 outbreak on the vessel. Minister of Health and Wellness, the Honorable Dr. Michael Darvill, addressed a matter outside of Cabinet Tuesday, suggesting it was in the interest of the Bahamian people. It is always related to the disease burden. If we feel that the ship has too many positive cases on board, it is the Ministry of Health responsibility to protect the well-being of the Bahamian population and try to find that balance where we are able to ensure and feel confident that the cases that are on board the ship have the capability to be isolated and quarantined. And when we don't feel that's possible, we will have to make those kind of tough decisions. But with that being said, we are working very closely with the cruise lines uh, to ensure that uh, they keep operating and we have access to the business and we want to do it in a safe way. Well, COVID cases continuing to climb. According to Sunday's dashboard, there are 477 new infections, 410 of those cases reported in New Providence and 14 in Grand Bahama. 12 new cases are reported in Abaco, 6 in Eleuthera, 3 in Exuma and 1 each in Inagua, Andros and Bimini in Katki. Confirmation is pending on the locations of 29 cases. 30 cases have a history of travel within the last 14 days. Males account for 214 cases and females 263. Hospitalizations now stand at 43 with four in the intensive care unit. Since the start of the pandemic, the Bahamas has recorded 26,011 COVID-19 cases. 
In other news, the reduction of value-added tax from 12 to 10 percent is now in full effect as of January 1st. And Minister of Economic Affairs, the Honorable Michael Alkita, says the process has been smooth so far. With the reduction, customers also saw a value-added tax added to breadbasket items. But Alkita says consumers will see overall savings despite this. People are seeing the savings. I had the opportunity to speak to an entrepreneur over the weekend, um, well, yesterday, who had um, received his rent bill for his business, and it was reflective of the 10% change, um, the change to 10%, and he was very, very happy with the savings. And I think as time goes on, um, people will realize that to go from 12% to 10% on the tens of thousands of items and services that people purchase, it would be a savings when compared to, you know, the few items that it has been, uh, that the zero rating has been discontinued. The minister also explained the 90-day adjustment period given to businesses to change prices on items. For, for businesses who have actual physical, um, you know, prices on items or price tags on items, you know, for example, a clothing store where they, where they actually have a tag on an item and some retailers where they have a physical price on an item, um, you know, we give them, there's a transition period for them to physically change all of those prices. And while we see a reduction in value-added tax, consumers are seeing a hike in oil prices. Kishla Adderley has that story. Too much of a hype in the gas. Now if they bring it back down to like four dollars, we deal with that. That may be little more than wishful thinking as the post-COVID-19 economy roars back. Vasco Bastian is the proprietor of Esso at East Street and Soldier Road. COVID uh, played a significant role in the cost of crude oil uh, in the last two years. It was probably way under four dollars. Now I need to get more research and get more inf information to give you that, but it was, it was under four dollars. But you know, the world was shut down then. So there was a lot, like I said earlier, there was no mo mobility. Everything was on pause. So this oil was just sitting there, not being used. And it ties right back into supply and demand. And that demand has in the last several days led to an increase at the pumps, which may be here to stay for a while. All ESO service stations are $5.28. The price of gas changed about probably a week and a half, two weeks ago. Uh, that change came about, as we know, oil prices in the United States continue to rise. And so as oil prices in the United States rise, the cost of fuel to the retailer uh, will rise. You know, I mean, me personally, I don't like it when the cost of fuel goes up because that means that I have to spend more money to buy that same oil uh, with the same mar margin attached to it. Retailers in the Bahamas get 54 cents per gallon of oil sold at the pump. The wholesaler gets 33, 33 cents per gallon. The government gets a percentage of that. The cost of goods sold goes in, gets a percentage of that. And then there's the government VAT on that same cost as well. So high prices to me is a bad thing. Eric Fox seconds that, but has resigned himself to the realities. If you put a little bit on your pocket, but the truth of the matter is you need gas. Mm -hmm. And so you, you, you would have to make some, some other adjustments in other ways of your life, cut back on, on driving, or unnecessary driving, and, and on probably you can carpool to save some, 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 some gas. But. So what should you expect in the year ahead? Crude oil was about 76 cents, 76 dollars, I'm sorry, a barrel. Spotters on the world market on Wall Street, based on raw data and previous data, will do an, an analysis on what they think a, a barrel of crude oil would be. Based on the information that I've seen today, that might go up as high as $100 per barrel or $110 per barrel. If that continues to go on the trajectory that it is now, then we could see an increase in retail prices of the pumps. But if that reduces then there will be a discount on gas prices at the pump. What goes up must come down. With the hopes that the worst of the COVID-19 economy is in the rear view, this consumer has come to this conclusion. I hope everything would uh, at least uh, pay and stuff will go up as well so we can afford uh, another people who are not so fortunate. Kish Latterly, ZNS Network News. Well, so to come, the culture minister setting the record straight over the virtual Junkanoo parades. Stay with us. There's more to come.
And remember to tune in to the morning edition with LaDawn Davis and Charles Fisher at 7 o'clock weekday mornings. We also have news updates at every hour starting at 2 p.m. You can then watch The Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition at 6.30 and the National Report live at 7 p.m. All right here on the ZNS Network. This portion of the news is brought to you by Shell Holiday Extravaganza. The holidays are a time to celebrate our connectedness, to strengthen the ties that bind us, that make us, well, family. At Commonwealth Bank, we're your neighbors, your friends, and yes, we're your family. Wishing you warm and sincere best wishes for a happy holiday and a prosperous new year from your family at Commonwealth Bank. Merry Christmas to you. To you. internet it's super fast with super savings in every package compare and see for yourself enjoy the best home internet experience for all your work study and entertainment best rate, no best rate, no visit a btc store to sign up for the best internet experience on the bahamas best fiber network Last year, we couldn't celebrate Christmas as we wanted to. So for this year, we had everything planned. 100,000 watts of lights, 10-foot-tall tree, best table ever, custom T-shirts, DJ, and we also had Uncle Billy, who forgot the KFC buckets in the car with the keys inside. Step back. With KFC Junkanoo Buckets, you can enjoy the holiday season this year no matter what. Save with this Christmas with Junkanoo Buckets, only at KFC Nassau. There's nothing as powerful as knowing where you belong. No more waiting. It's time to come home. Come home to friendly smiles. Come home to convenience. Come home to more interest on savings and lower fees. Come home to our bank and your bank. Come home to Bank of the Bahamas, your bank of solutions. Fixed and mobile services provided by Cable Bahamas Business Solutions helps our customers help their customers adapt to the new way of paying for things. Digital wallets makes your transactions faster, more convenient, and secure. Whether it's using a debit card at the grocery store or making online payments for your monthly expenses, digital wallets powered by Cable Bahamas Business Solutions makes it better. For more information on our fixed and mobile services, contact the experts at 601-8911 in Nassau or 602-8811 in the Family Islands. What does support look like? What does it sound like when you feel the pulse of a nation? When you make a difference in the lives of strong, principled, cultured people who are driven by hard work and passion. People who build communities where hospitality is warmly demonstrated because this is the Bahamas and we're happy to share our wealth. Commonwealth Bank, built by Bahamians, here for Bahamians. Bahamians helping Bahamians. This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, the Honorable Mario Boleg, says 90% of the production team contracted to produce Saturday's virtual junk nude that aired on ZNS and other online platforms caught COVID-19. This as he defended against public backlash over the quality of the program that aired. Boleg says the company has been given the time to produce an improved product that will be re-aired Further noting that his ministry and the Junkanoo Corporation of New Providence wanted to give the public a showing that had been missing for two years. The mere fact that we take the initiative to want to do such thing, and it was the first time done in the country, I am proud of my ministry and JCN for us to put something forward. And let me set the record straight. We hired a Bahamian company. I understand some people say we hired a foreign company. We don't hire foreigners, not as it relates to something as such. A Bahamian company who is well known for the works they have done and have done great works in this field before. There were challenges that they faced it that caused the production not to be up to the standard that the ministry, JCN, or the country at large would have liked to see in. 
We are correcting those challenges, and we intend to, once the stakeholders and myself and the ministry review the corrections of that production, and we intend to air that again. Mbole could not say when the program will we air, but he says the company has a short window to work with. He also provided a breakdown of the $300,000 government has allocated for the virtual John Canoe. I don't have a time on set to be aired, but they have until January 9th to produce, to, to provide me with the corrected uh, production. The production was only $24,000. $126,000 was given to the groups, which has a stipend for them to prepare themselves for the competition. The remaining balance, when you add the 126 and the 124, that's what covered New Providence. The remaining balance will be for virtual Junkanoo in Grand Bahama and the Family Islands. Also making news tonight, in 1984, 21-year-old Eric Stubbs walked into life at Key allegedly believing himself to be the reincarnation of Adam. The man then committed a series of serious crimes, which rather led to his detainment. However, due to the work of Edward Fitzgerald QC, Sonia Timothy and Clifford Chance, this indefinite sentence is now being revisited. Antoine Smith reports. By 1991, he would have been released. Another shot at freedom for a mentally ill man convicted of rape. 60-year-old Eric Stubbs, who at 22 was sentenced and then re-sentenced to a life spent indefinitely behind the gates of the maximum security wing at the Sandilands Rehabilitation Center. Now, almost 40 years later, thanks to a December decision handed down by the Privy Council, this could be revised. And that order reads that there should be substituted an order that the appellant be detained until discharged by order of the Supreme Court. The matter should be remitted to the Supreme Court and the question of the appellant's potential release from detention should be considered by a judge of the Supreme Court. Stubbs, originally sentenced to seven years behind bars, was declared guilty, but insane after a 1985 self-represented court appeal. The result, a sentence substitution, which saw the man to be held at SRC until ordered by the governor general. A sentence which attorney at the helm of the case, Sonia Timothy, calls both inhumane and a constitutional breach. When it is as in this case, you take a judicial function and you place it in the hands of the executive by saying that the governor general can make a determination on the, on the sentence or how long that person can be detained. That is in violation of our constitution. That is a breach of the principle of the separation of powers. Attorneys who have reviewed the case have called it somewhat of a landmark decision. Should Stubbs find success, this could change the way persons under the same order are sentenced. A lot of these sentences that affect juveniles, that affect persons who are mentally ill, those who are most vulnerable actually in our society now get a second chance to be reviewed, to be assessed, to look at um, individually instead of just this blanket of at Her Majesty's pleasure, at the Governor General's pleasure. We can now peel back those cases to see well, who is this individual and what have they done. On January 21st, a presentation of Stubbs' current psychiatric records will be made to the Supreme Court. Antoine Smith, ZNS Network News. This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Congratulations, you've won. Please go inside for your reward. What I win? One out of 100 daily fuel rewards for a month. Please go inside to collect your reward. That's like 3,000 people, but I don't ever win nothing. Now I know you won't swing at me. So I ain't gonna say it no more. You don't want your things in. Okay, that's you? No, I'm not English. Yes, wait, I just win. Enjoy more holiday rewards at Rubis. Fuel, swipe, and win. Buy Chef Boyardee, Libby's, and a three-pack of Act 2 popcorn. And you can win one of six cash prizes right in time for the new year. Take your receipt to Ace H. Pritchett Limited on Robinson Road and enter today. One-third of all traffic fatalities 
occur as a result of excessive speed. In the inner city, residential areas, and high pedestrian traffic areas, the speed limit ranges from 15 to 25 miles per hour. On the outskirts of the island, especially where a sign is not posted, the speed limit 30 miles per hour. The maximum speed limit is 45 miles per hour. On behalf of the Royal Bahamas Police Force Traffic Division, please slow down. I'm Corvel Pfeiffer. 2021 saw BTC on the move. Through our brightly launched Elevate Bahamas campaign, we transitioned many of our customers from carpet of fiber in their homes, increasing internet speed and improving overall performance. Back in March, we doubled speeds for all of our customers, making our entry speed a minimum of 100 megabytes per second at no additional cost. We became the first communications and entertainment provider to offer fixed mobile conversions, allowing customers to bundle their landlines, broadband, television, and now mobile services with roaming into one monthly bill. We are making large capital investments to roll out fiber to the home in more areas throughout the country, with a full nationwide completion by 2023. Overall, BTC is providing an improved network, better value, and a better experience. Each day on every island and key in the Bahamas, we are taking more fiber to the homes of our customers as we elevate Bahamas. Here's looking forward to a great 2022 with more of the moments that move us. I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Be well and be back here next BTC Connection. It's encouraging that the national COVID-19 vaccine rollout is going successfully. It's not the only precaution to reduce the spread of the virus in our communities. It's important to continue practicing safety protocols because it is our social responsibility to protect ourselves and to protect others. Wash your hands for a friend with a weaker immune system. Only read and share information from trusted sources to avoid unnecessary panic. I'm gonna need y'all to avoid these large crowds. We could have loved ones at home who have underlying health conditions. Do it. Practicing safety protocols is an act of brotherly and sisterly love. The life you save may just be yours, as well as your neighbor. Together yeah, we will win. We will win. win. We play just like your kids. We text just like your kids. We learn. We even cook. We take selfies. We have hobbies. And we love sports. In every way, we are just like everyone else and enjoy the same things and live our lives every day, just like you do. So if you happen to meet us, treat us just like everyone else. Because at the end of the day, we're just like you. Living life with Down syndrome is simply living. To learn more about Down syndrome, call 727-2105. This message is brought to you by the Grand Bahama Down Syndrome Society. Thanks for staying with us as the country's number one industry continues to rebound from record low numbers brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. The downtown area seemingly looks to be busy over the past few weeks. This has stopover visitors continue to fill Bay Street and help stimulate the downtown economy. We caught up with a few visitors on their New Year's resolutions. I hope that we can get rid of these masks, you know, the virus go away 
and that you know uh, it kind of the economy grow and everybody could be cool not really i'm usually pretty cool all the time <laughs> enjoy life more healthy and thinner <laughs> no resolutions yet pretty much to, you know i want to just I set the bar pretty low when it comes to New Year's resolutions because so many people fail when they try to do something huge in the year. So keep it small, just continue to treat people with respect, you know, pay it forward whenever possible and just be kind. I think that's uh, a good message going into the new year. To be better, to be better than last year. That's true, I agree with that. <laughs> but to start it out here in the Bahamas is awesome. As we head to the break, we'd like to thank all of our viewers watching us live on our social media platforms. And just in case you missed the news, be sure to head there to catch up. Stay with us. There's more after the break. It was the night before Christmas in a sailboat with a rope but no tow. A girl found a magical starfish on the shores of Abaco. On Grand Bahama is where she landed where she was led to a hibiscus enchanted. In Andrus, under the moonlight, she found a golden pine cone that glowed so bright. On to Nassau, where the cool breeze blew. The brightest feather was given from practice for junkery. On to the islands Exuma, Cat Island, Long Island, and Inagua. She traveled to every island, rock, and key, till it was time to come home and unlock the mystery that although each island is different, we are all one. So she fulfilled her dream to light up Christmas for everyone. Dream big this Christmas. We are alive. When you want to send money, all your time supplies, who are you going to call? The Tile King. When you tell your house and you want to look good, who are you going to call? The Tile King. Visit the new Tile King showroom, which is internationally recognized as the finest tile showroom in the Caribbean, located in the Builders Mall on Wolf Road. The Tile King. Who are you going to call? on everything. Ever since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom suffered violence, and the violence took it by storm, calling the afflicted, calling all souls in despair, welcome to the voice of Deliverance Telecast, from the ministry that is reaching out all over the land, delivering souls and changing lives. One of the biggest challenges I face as a teen mother is support throughout the community. Instead of the community trying to uplift teen mothers, they insist on bringing us down and trying to tear down our self-esteem. Becoming a teen mother helped me to realize that I need to be more responsible. It helps me to focus on my decisions because I need not to decide for myself anymore. I have to make decisions for me and my daughter. In my opinion, seeking health services was excellent for me. Honestly, my biggest support, other than the nurses, was my Grammy. The advice that I give to other teens out there is to stay focused on your education. Stay focused on your self goals, set goals for yourself. Lighthouse on San Salvador to let you know that marine protected areas make dollars and cents. A well-designed and managed network of protected areas can generate income for nearby communities. From MPA managers to lodges to eco tours, there is money to be made. Healthy marine ecosystems help to protect our islands from climate change and other impacts that we cannot control. Healthy coral reefs help to break down big waves and mangroves absorb storm surge and help to protect our coastline.
older and larger fish tend to carry more and healthier eggs than younger fish. Fish replenishment areas will allow fish to grow bigger and ensure that we have more fish now and in the future. In our replenishment area, fish are free to grow and reproduce. As their populations increase, more fish will spill over into other areas where fishermen can increase their catch and their income. I support the establishment of a marine protected area on my island. I support the establishment of marine protected areas on my island. I support the establishment of marine protected areas on my island. I support the establishment of a marine protected area on my island, and you should too. And you should too. And you should too. And you should too. See the future with Bahamas, Bahamas Protected. protected. and mobile services provided by Cable Bahamas Business Solutions helps our customers help their customers adapt to the new way of paying for things. Digital Wallets makes your transactions faster, more convenient, and secure. Whether it's using a debit card at the grocery store or making online payments for your monthly expenses, Digital Wallets, powered by Cable Bahamas Business Solutions, makes it better. For more information on our fixed and mobile services, contact the experts at 601-8911 in Nassau or 602-8811 in the Family Islands. There's a spark of greatness in each of us. That spark is called personality. Individual gifts and talents provide the fuel to set that spark ablaze. Each child has the right to an education which values their personality and nurtures their talents, while teaching them to be respectful to their parents and their cultures. Throughout our lifetime, we must all make decisions. No matter how we choose, the right one just needs to be made. Like having J.S. Johnson Insurance Agents and Brokers as your insurance partner. We've been serving the Palmas for over 100 years. Whether you need home, motor, marine, or commercial insurance, make the right decision. Call 397-2100 or visit jsjohnson.com. J.S.J., 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 Johnson Insurance. Did you know that there are over 30,000 Bahamians with diabetes and another 23,000 with prediabetes? Each year, this number is expected to increase. Many people who have diabetes are unaware. If you are having blurry vision, feeling thirsty, urinating frequently, or are unusually tired or losing weight despite a healthy diet, you may have diabetes. If you have a parent or sibling that has diabetes, you are also at an increased risk of developing diabetes. If you have noticed any of these symptoms, it is important to see your doctor who will perform the necessary test to confirm the diagnosis. Together, we can beat diabetes. Control what you can control is the message of Bahama Out Islands Promotions Board Executive Director Kerry Fountain to properties represented in the Out Islands as COVID cases surge. The board represents 35 hotels scattered across 10 different family islands. Fountain has a number of tips he has shared with property owners. Get vaccinated. Now I know, and just like you, I read um, that folks that have been vaccinated are still getting the virus but they're not going in hospitals and they're not dying uh, number two if you're working with any outside vendors um, as well as with as well as for your staff get them tested and get them tested on a regular basis the bahamas ministry of health they recommend testing staff at least every two weeks and by the way, that is something that we're going to need assistance with from the government to make that happen. Because in this period of recovery, our hotels can ill afford another expense. Well, that is not the only thing he shared. Any hotel that, uh, that's working with outside vendors, be it a fly fishing guide, be it a, be it a dive operator, we're encouraging those hotels to insist that their outside vendors have that safe 
um, travel seal of approval. Another recommendation we've made is um, be flexible with your hotel cancellation policy. I mean, put yourself in the position of your guests. If you're traveling and, and something happens to you at the last minute, you would want to be able to cancel um, at the last minute and actually get your money back or use it for future travel. It's time now for a check on Family Island weather with Chief Meteorologist Basil Dean. Good evening, Basil. Uh, good evening, uh, Jiminita. Outside of our studios, we are under cloudy skies with a temperature of 75 degrees, a relative humidity at 78%. We have easterly winds at uh, 9 miles per hour, the barometric pressure 1,018.4 millibars. That's 30.07 inches, and the pressure is steady. Temperatures around the islands this evening, they are brought to you by Family Guardian Insurance Company. We're protecting you. 73 degrees in Freeport, Grand Bahama, and Grain Torquay in Abaco, Marshall, Abaco at 72 degrees. The Berry Island, 73. Alistair and Bimini, 75 degrees, 74 in Harbor Island. Rock Sound, Elutra, 76. Alistair and Cat Island at 77 degrees. Black Point, Exuma, and Camp Space out Andrews reporting 76. In Fresh Creek, Central Andrews, the Mercury Column got up to 75 degrees. 77s in San Salvador and Rumkey, Georgetown, Exuma, 79 degrees. 80 in Ragged Island. Clarence Town, Long Island, and Crooked Island. Betsy Bay, 79. Ackland, 79. Matthew Tiny, Nagua, 80 degrees. And the Turks and Caicos Islands also at 80 degrees. And your boating forecast tonight is brought to you by Builders Mall, home of FYP, the Tile King, and the Paint Setter. In the northwestern central islands tonight, northeast to east winds, the speeds just around 10 to 15 knots, and the wave heights 2 to 4 feet. Low tide will take place at 9-11 tonight in the southeast. Bahamas, you can expect an easterly flow at 10 to 15 knots, and the wave heights 2 to 4 Four feet. Tomorrow in the northwest and central islands, the winds will fall light and variable with flat seas. High tide, 9.39 in the morning. Low tide, that will take place at 4.10 in the afternoon. In the southeastern islands, that easterly flow will continue at 10 to 15 knots with the wave heights 2 to 4 feet over the ocean. And then on Thursday in the northwest and central islands, winds continue to rotate clockwise, becoming southeast to south at 10 to 15 knots, wave heights 2 to 4 feet. Tidewise is going to be high at 10.31 in the morning the low tide at 5 in the afternoon. For the southeast Bahamas on Thursday, no change at all. Easterly flow 10 to 15, no way fights 2 to 4 feet. That's going to do it for your boating forecast. It's time now for your international temperatures, and they are brought to you by Royal Star Assurance. Chef Boyardee, Libby's, and a three-pack of Act 2 popcorn. And you can win one of six cash prizes right in time for the new year. Take your receipt to Ace H. Pritchett Limited on Robinson Road and enter today. What about you? What? Well, I thirsty too, you know. You want to see all the water out there? Well, why you don't give me your water, and then you go try and drink that salt water? You crazy, eh? I ain't the one talking to a dog, you know. Ain't nobody could drink salt water. Then why you won't give it to me? All dogs need fresh, cool water and sufficient shelter from the sun all year round, especially on the beach and during the hot summer months. Summers are very hot here in the Bahamas, so please make sure all pets have ample, cool, fresh water in proper containers and sufficient shelter from the sun, even on the beach. And make sure all dog houses and kennels have proper ventilation. Let's make it Bahamian to be humane. This message has been brought to you by the Bahamas Humane Society and the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas. 
New Year, New Time. Watch Conversations with Christ every Sunday at 10 a.m. And I tell you what, because I recently had someone ask me, they said, Daniel, how do I explain unemployment to my kids? How do I explain that I'm not working and we on welfare, we on government assistance? How do I explain that to my children? And the only thing I could tell them is one word, and that's temporary. Everything is temporary. Because see, when you walk by faith and not by sight, what you understand is that even though you don't see things changing, you don't have to see it, you just know that it's happening. And then he said, but it's been over two years. I haven't worked, so how do you explain temporary? And that's when I had to let him know that, hey, to God, one day, it's like a thousand years. And a thousand years is like one day. So don't compare today to forever. And that's what we're going to be talking about. So 10 a.m. Conversations with Christ every Sunday. Colon cancer is the third most common cancer affecting Bahamians. Your risk of developing colon cancer is increased if you have a personal history of colorectal cancer or colon polyps a family history of colon cancer, or inflammatory bowel diseases such as ulcerative colitis. Other factors that can increase your risk of developing colon cancer are low fiber, high fat diets, a sedentary lifestyle, obesity, smoking, and alcohol. You can take steps to reduce your risk of colon cancer by making specific lifestyle changes. Eat a variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. These foods contain fiber, minerals, vitamins, and antioxidants, which may play a role in cancer prevention. Drink alcohol in moderation or not at all. Do not smoke. Exercise with a goal of getting in at least 30 minutes each day. If you've been inactive, start slowly and gradually build up to 30 minutes. Also, talk to your doctor before starting any exercise program. Maintain a healthy weight. If you're at a healthy weight, Maintain it by combining a well-balanced diet with daily exercise. If you need to lose weight, ask your doctor about healthy ways to achieve your goal. Colon cancer screening can also help to prevent colon cancer or lead to its early detection when treatment is most effective. If you're 45 years or older, speak to your doctor about having a colonoscopy or some form of colon cancer screening that may be appropriate for you. I'm Dr. Eugene Marcus Cooper. Pay attention to your health. Get the facts and discuss colon cancer with your physician today. This message is brought to you by the Ministry of Health in partnership with the Public Hospitals Authority. to the word of God and you begin to speak the word of God and you begin to live the word of God and you begin to act out on the word of God you will find that there will be a transformed life and when there is a transformed life there will be a transformed home and when there's a transformed home there'll be a transformed church and when there's a transformed church there'll be a transformed community I'm telling you, you have to respond to the word our marine resources were once considered inexhaustible. Conch and reef fish like grouper were abundant everywhere, and it seemed as if the lobster catch would rise forever. But today, there is a downward trend that affects everyone. Researchers say we can reverse the trend by protecting more marine habitats. And the good news is that most Bahamians strongly support efforts to halt further decline. Tripling the size of our network of marine parks will mean more fish and conch for everyone now and for the future, as well as more recreational and ecotourism opportunities. Today, only 10% of our waters are protected. Surveys show that most Bahamians consider protection of our marine environment to be a top national priority. More protection means more benefits for everyone, now and in the future. It's a win-win-win strategy for the economy, for Bahamians, and for nature. Protect our sea, protect our way of life, protect the Bahamas. See the future. Visit Bahamas Protected on Facebook to learn more about marine protected areas. It's a 
They're part of all of our lives. Zadness TV is where we go for information, entertainment, and enjoyment. Zedness is there with something for everyone. Zedness TV, a part of our lives before he airs. This portion of the news brought to you by Genuine Care, keeping you home while you're away. This is ZNS Total Sports. Welcome to sports, everyone. Topping sports news, buddy, on the Sacramento Kings starting 2022 off on a good note. As the Kings guard would score 26 points, shooting 7 of 14 from three, along with six rebounds and three assists with the Kings in their 115-113 win over the Miami Heat on Sunday, improving the 16-22 and 22 on the season. But he buckets on what he was seeing in the defense. Yeah, you know, every team... Uh, just play me teams. A lot of teams play me different, and I uh, just when uh, teams play me in a different way, you just gotta like take advantage of it. You know, I think Miami was not as aggressive by the team, but I was able to get a few good ones early, find rhythm quick. But uh, past couple games, I couldn't I haven't been really getting a really good looks because teams are being keen and locking on me. And hats off me because they know I'm capable of doing. But uh, when nights like that, I just gotta find ways to get my team open, set a lot of back screens, and. Uh, even tonight, I was able to cut a couple of back screens, get Tremezzi open a couple of times, a couple of lobs, and uh, just play basketball and uh, you know, play with the rhythm. Healed adding with a new year brings a new frame of mind. And it's always frustrating when you, as a, as a scorer, as a shooter, you can get really looks you want to get, but uh, then you have to be selfless and then make other plays for the use your ability to get. Uh, get use ability to get your other, other teammates open, like extending back six. And then they mess up, you know, you and the award your teammate with another two points, and uh, that's on the Fox and Ty to make that pass. And the year, you know, uh, and the last year's been behind us, and I uh, just, you know, come with an aggressive mindset and uh, aggressive approach each and every game. Uh, just be myself and have fun playing basketball. From the collegiate hardwood, Bahamian Garvin Clark Jr. would pour an eight points and three assists in 15 minutes of play to help lead his Akron Zips to an 88-76 win over the Buffalo Bulls over the weekend. The Zips would improve to 8-3 and three on the year. The sophomore guard is averaging just under four points per game this season, just under two assists while playing 15 minutes per contest. Now a tough test for Clark and the Zips in a big conference showdown later this evening as they will face off the 10-2 and two Ohio Bobcats. The six guard was a three-star recruit before agreeing to play for Akron. Clark averaged 17 points and six assists as a high school senior and led his team to a Division 1A high school championship. And the program director for the Nassau Rowing Club on what initiatives the organization has recently implemented to try and attract more athletes to the sport. Squad, which uh, focuses on government school rowers or rowers who wouldn't have the opportunity otherwise to row. So that's an ongoing process. It's been a little tough with COVID because we haven't been able to get into the government schools, um, but that program is still available for anyone who wants to learn how to row. Uh, we ask that you're fully vaccinated and that you know how to swim. Uh, other opportunities we've been presented through the year are visiting clubs from New England, from Seattle, uh, but this visiting camp is the largest one we've been able to host, and we're really grateful for that, and we hope they're able to come back every year. And that's a look at sports on this Tuesday. A check on the weather when we return. This is ZNS Total Sports. Your base tourism supplies almost $50 million in revenue for Androsians every year. These priceless resources will continue to provide renewable benefits for thousands of people for years to come, as long as we take long-term action to preserve what's rightfully ours. The natural environment has played a vital role in our culture and economy for generations. Let's take care of nature, and nature will take care of us. Hey, y'all, what's up? Hey, what's that? What y'all getting? 
Listen, I've been waiting mash down some love, see ya? Hi, I'm Matthew. I will be you guys waiter today. Can I take your order? Oh, I've been chewing some for some crew for dread. This ain't gonna work. Where the fish gone, though? But how, though? Don't leave our children with no fish in their future. Protect our sea. Protect our way of life. Protect the Bahamas. To learn how you can help, find us on Facebook at Bahamas Protected. See the future. I travel all over the world and I find inspiration all around me. In the people and especially the environment. I love the Bahamas with all its natural beauty. From Abaco in the north to Inagua in the south and all the wonderful and colorful islands in between. But we must all do our part to keep the Bahamas healthy and clean now and for the future generations. That's why I want you to find a little time to do your part. I'm doing my part because I care. Do you? We play just like your kids. We text just like your kids. We learn. We even cook. We take selfies. We have hobbies. And we love sports. In every way, we are just like everyone else and enjoy the same things and live our lives every day just like you do. So if you happen to meet us, treat us just like everyone else because at the end of the day, we're just like you. Living life with Down syndrome is simply living. To learn more about Down syndrome, call 727-2105. This message is brought to you by the Grand Bahama Down Syndrome Society. Do you want to travel this holiday season? Don't want to miss out on those blockbuster deals? Well, have you gotten your COVID-19 vaccine yet? Time is running out to travel for the holidays, and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine may be just what you need. It's one and done. Just one jab of this vaccine, and two weeks later, you're fully vaccinated and ready to shop. Protect yourself and your loved ones this holiday season. Schedule your vaccine appointment now. This public service announcement is brought to you by the communications section of the Ministry of Education and Technical and Vocational Training in conjunction with this channel. Hey, it's me. What's up? You finished marking the drum yet? Hey, man. I'm right here trying to finish up these papers right now. At least you start. I have not begun. I am waiting. You know, parents. 
given me answers and given me reasons why they can't send. Wrong, hold on. Check your, that might be you, bro. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Girl, listen, that's parents right now. Send me my work email, what's up calling me. Hold Just on, let hold me on. know, work a minute. Hold on a minute, did you say email? Yes. Brown, listen to me. No one should be emailing you any work. That is what the LMS is for. Listen to me. Whatever works for me and makes my life easy for me and my students, that's what I'm going to do. Email is what, how I'm getting my work. Listen to me. The Ministry of Education implemented this so that it can make our lives easier, you know. The school can monitor the LMS. The we can monitor the LMS. The parents, listen to me. You're able to upload live worksheets. You're able to see when the children log in and log out. You're able to see if they're absent or present. If you use this system, it makes your life so, so much easier. You need to get with it. Listen to me. You are the team leader, not me. You are the teacher of the year, you know, not me. <laughs> so it is my job to do what is best for me and to make it easy for me and my students. And right now, email is the easiest thing. Listen to me. Once you use the LMS, you will be singing a completely different tune. <laughs> that is just how easy it is. OK, well, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. And if you say you're going to help me get it done, then I will try. But other than that, it ain't going to happen. LMS for me is going on teaching and getting out. Brown, listen, don't worry, I got you. I'm gonna help you along with this, all right? I got you. As long as you say you're gonna help me, then I'll wait on you and I'll sing that same tune. This public service announcement was brought to you by the communications section of the Ministry of Education and Technical and Vocational Training in conjunction with this channel. 2022 is a year of positional manifestation. My God, <laughs> I, my I God. just said something. A year of positional. Now, I know you may, may have never heard that before. It means, my brothers and sisters, if you are positioned, you are ready for the manifestation. God is going to reveal himself in the lives of people who know their God. Sundays at 8.30 a.m. on ZNS TV 13. Time now for weather. And have a final look at weather. Satellite pictures are showing a broad ribbon of clouds across the uh, northwest Bahamas, in particularly around the New Providence area, and that's associated with that frontal system which went through. We expect that front to stall south of the capital and then start backing up overnight as a warm front, and that will uh, move back into the uh, Gulf of Mexico sometime late tomorrow. Our forecast for tonight, we'll call in for cloudy conditions with occasional showers tonight. Low temperature, a comfortable 66 degrees, and tomorrow it's going to be mostly sunny as that system backs out of here. Temperature getting up to about 80 degrees. And your extended weather forecast, lots of sunshine returning to the forecast, taking us right into the weekend. Daytime temperatures remaining in the low 80s and those nighttime temperatures, we're going to keep them in the 60s for you. Jim Anita. Thanks, Basil. Now, this programming note, the morning edition will not air tomorrow morning. Instead, the show will return on Thursday morning at its regular time. We do apologize for any in inconvenience caused. Well, that does it for the Bahamas tonight. Thank you for continuing to make ZNS your first choice for news and information. From all of us here at ZNS, thank you for watching and good night. You're watching the ZNS Network, the People Station. Hi, welcome to Big Boys. Today on our menu we have Curry Mac